What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave here. Hold on. Clicky. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode commentary for Universes. This is Poe vs. Baymax. I was super excited for this episode because I love both these characters very, very much. I'm a huge fan of the Big Hero 6 comics and all that. One of the very rare comics that I actually risked my eyes to read because it's not that long. Um, yeah, the reason I don't do that many comic book characters, for those who don't know, is because I actually have ocular albinism. And my eyesight is very poor, so when I read for a long time, no matter what it is, my eyes just start hurting and straining. So, comic books are pretty tricky for me. I mean, I would watch the animated series, but the series aren't as faithful at, um, to the comics as anime is to the manga. So that's why I, I do a lot more anime characters than comic book characters. It's not a personal preference thing or anything, it's just because my eyes cannot handle comics as well as anime. But if I could read comics more, I promise you I would do a whole lot more comic book characters. In fact, next episode we almost got a comic book character, but I switched it to Croc vs. Banjo. Um, if you remember in the last episode commentary for Yoshimitsu vs. Raiden, I said I was plotting a super duper important battle. And a lot of people guessed what it was. I'm, I'm not even scared to say it. It was Goku vs. Superman. It was going to be Goku vs. Superman. I'm not scared of it. <laughs> it's just another matchup. What's the big deal? Um, I know it's a huge matchup and it's super controversial and all that. But I just feel like it's something every versus debater should cover at least once in their versus debating career or lifetime or whatever. I, I, I know it's it's a cancerous debate. It's overdone. Yada yada yada. But it's just one of those fights. I don't know. There's never a solid answer, no matter what. So I wanted to sort of do my own spin on it. It would have been interesting. I wasn't scared of it. Like, every every versus debater does this. They sit there, make a versus show, and go, Alright, I'm going to do all these cool fights, but I'm not going to do Goku versus Superman. I'm not going to do Goku versus Superman. And then they do Goku versus Superman, like, a year later. And I hit that time. Heck, even Animation Rewind, when he did his Goku vs. Superman thing, he was like, And now for a battle I never thought I'd do. Oh, please, Animation Rewind. Way to hype up nothing. <laughs> I just don't see the point in hyping it up. I was like, alright, super important battle's coming up next. That's it. I'm not like, this is a battle of the century. A battle I never thought I'd do. A battle that only comes once in a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's just another fight. So yeah, it was going to be Goku vs. Superman, but... Then Animation Rewind released his um, Z Fighters vs. Justice League, <laughs> which is hilariously good. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't say that with a straight face. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know I kid Animation Rewind, we're buddies. Um, anyways, I was going to do Goku vs. Superman, but then he released that. And um, I didn't want to be seen as a copycat, like doing a similar fight to him. So I'm like, oh crap, I gotta come up with the... With a backup plan. Backup plan, backup plan. <clears throat> and the backup plan was Croc vs. Banjo, which are also stupidly similar like Baymax and Poe. Like, Baymax and Poe in the comments section, everyone was like, Oh, white and fat. Yeah, nice, Leo. Those are the only similarities. Come on. But, they have a lot more in common than you think. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. That's the IBS acting up. Um, they're both white, fat, they do martial arts, they fight on a team of six, because Poe and the Furious Five, and then Big Hero Six, um, and they're both dragon related, because Baymax is like some dragon robot creature and Poe is the dragon warrior, and they're both surrounded by tons of Asian culture, because, um, Big Hero Six is kind of like in Japan, like a mixture of San Francisco and Japan, San Francisco, and Kung Fu Panda's China, and all that. So yeah, 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 yeah. They are all very similar. And then Croc vs. Banjo is stupidly similar. They're both 3D platforming collectathon protagonists who wear backpacks and have bird companions while speaking with text bubbles and weird grunt noises. Yeah, stupidly similar. <laughs> like Banjo, he has the text bubble and he's like, uh, 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 while the text scrolls across the screen. And then Croc does that too. He's like, rrr, rrr, or weird noises, whatever he makes. I forget. I haven't played Croc 2 in a while. I'll have to go back and look at it to see what he sounds like. 
obviously, because I'm researching it. Um, but yeah, um, after Croc vs. Banjo, I'm going to take a slight break just to relax, because I've been doing this for three months straight. All of December, all of January, all of February, and now halfway through March. I'm, this is going to be going on, like, halfway through March. pretty Or a third of the way through March, I guess. Because I'm going to go for the 10th, maybe. Nah, it's going to come earlier than the 10th. I don't know. It's just going to come when it's done. It's going to come when it's ready. Be patient. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to take a small break after that. Like, maybe a week or two. To go relax. And think of more matchups. I, I said this in the last commentary, but whatever. I'm just planning ahead for those who weren't there. Um, so yeah, this fight was super duper fun, and I'm excited for the Big Hero 6 series that's supposed to be coming this fall, I believe. Yeah, on Disney XD, there's going to be an animated Big Hero 6 series. I hope they... <clears throat> I hope they do some stories from the comics. That would be pretty cool. I want to see Honey Lemon getting tangled up in that mind control stuff again. Ooh, kinky. <laughs> yeah, um, the comics are way different from the movie. Like, Honey Lemon is like this super perky cheerleader or whatever. And in the movie, she's like this stick figure Latina blonde girl with glasses. And she's just not very fun in the movie. She's more, way more fun in the comics. I like her a lot more in the comics. Um, but everyone else seems to be pretty fine the way they are. Um, Go-Go is a bit more lighthearted in the comics than she is in the movie. And the comics, let's just say the comics are not very appropriate for children. <laughs> Like, one part, Gogo's clothes got torn off and replaced with, like, a suit of just pure energy. And it was, it looked so skin tight and perfect and, oh. oh. Anyways, that's it for Poe vs. Baymax. I'll see you next time. Leopold the Brave out. Got a clicky thing. All done.